I mean, folks, <laughs> when you have a, a particular car like this, it's only made to be driven at a very high rate of speed. Now, what we just did, I mean, that was kind of potential jail time. So This week we got a special surprise for you folks as we're gonna take out this beautiful Audi 2017. Kyle, where you going? Where you going? No, not that one. Not that one. No, no, not that one. Not that one. No, no, no. We're gonna do this one first. Right here. Boom. 2017 Audi R8. Go take this bad boy around these Georgia roads and see if it can handle. Anxious to see how the hurricane motor holds up on these streets. That's what we got coming up. Jay Walker, watch Life Off Road, right here on JW Motorsports. Welcome back to another episode of Life Off Road. Thanks again for hitting that play button, folks. And go to my YouTube channel, hit the thumbs up button, like and subscribe, really helps us out. A lot of you guys have been doing that, so I really appreciate it. The car we're featuring this week is. Once again, we're in the presence of automotive royalty when it comes to Audi. This is the 2017 Audi R8 Quattro. And these cars, when Audis first came out with these, they were very intriguing. I want to say they came out roughly around 2006 and they originally had the V8 motor inside, which this is a mid-engine car, so the engine is in the rear. And since then, they have upgraded to the V10. But these cars were very fascinating. It was good looking cars. You don't really see too many of them on the road. But every time when you do occasionally see one, they're very eye catching. They're very poppy, you know. But like I said, this one right here is a 2017. So it is the second generation to this model. And first thing off the rip is just how this car looks. I mean, just from the overall stance of it, you know, you have your lower I'm not sure what paint this is but you have a nice carbon fiber when these first came out this was all one piece right here just had a black street but this is all carbon fiber with the fuel tank but very good looking car unfortunately it does not belong to me it belongs to a good friend of mine I want to bring him out here so he could talk to us more about his car my good buddy David David what's going on what's bro? up man how you doing good man good to see you yep good to be here yes sir so Tell us what we got here, man. How long, how long have you had this car? So we're going on about four years. Uh, we originally bought this car with 4,000 miles, so we're the second owner. Okay. Uh, the first owner, which is a cool story, was T-Pain. Nice. And uh, we got our, we actually met each other and he confirmed it. Okay. I, I just thought the dealer, dealership was trying to upsell. Upsell to try to get you to buy, yeah. So yeah, other than, I mean, pretty much it's a, it's a stock car. There's no engine modifications. Uh, the only thing that we have done is uh, we have three-piece wheels mm -hmm. uh, with the gloss lip and matte black spoke. Mm -hmm. And then I did the suspension on it, which is a adjustable coilover. Okay. H&R uh, Motorsports. <clears throat> and uh, we did a starlight ceiling on the uh, rooftop. Nice. But other than that, I mean, I don't think there's really any need to do any modifications. It's just a great handling car. I mean, it's... Yeah, these cars were pretty, pretty badass from the jump, even from the performance to even the suspension-wise. So just the extra work that you've done on suspension, I'm pretty sure it takes it to a, a whole, no, whole nother level. Kyle, yeah. if you can, I want you to swing around because I want to get a good look at this, this mid-engine car. And like David said, it's completely stock. One thing I do love is the, the glass hatch right here. And this V10 shares the engine with the, the Huracans, right? The, Absolutely, the it's, the, it's yeah. the same platform. Basically the, uh, the motor and the suspension is the same platform as a Huracan. Yeah, let's take a look at the engine real quick. Yeah. My popping the hatch. Man, so 5.2 liter V10, man. This is, this is one thing I always love about the mid-engine cars is you can actually see the entire engine for the most part oh yeah the fact that it's behind you and what's crazy is on the inside you you can barely hear anything yeah it's so quiet that's why i was going to ask you how is it as far as just i'm sure it probably didn't have any drone at all so it's noisy on the outside but uh -huh. inside you you would never know that it's behind you yeah you just can't tell other than the placement of the motor and the handling mm. i mean it makes it really nimble yeah 
Do you have any plans for modifi modifying this engine, or are you just going to kind of leave it Oh, absolutely. Stock? I wanted a uh, twin turbo it a year ago because yeah. basically these blocks are bulletproof, mm -hmm. and you can make over a thousand without changing any internals. Wow. Uh, the only problem is my wife says no <laughs> because she just loves how it drives the way it is. Where it is now, yeah. yeah, yeah. And you know, folks, who knows? You know, later on in the video, you'll see why we have that kind of not saying the bait because you know David has a few extra toys that we're going to test out. But right now, we're going to focus on the R8. But yeah, very cool, man. I've, I, like I said, I've always loved these cars, man. This is a perfect color combo too. Yeah, it's a. It's it's just a rare car. You don't see very many of them. Mm -hmm. I mean, you said earlier. I mean, it's just a. You don't see them. I mean, you may you may see a white one every now and then. Yeah. But uh, yeah, I, I just love them. Yeah. Let's take a quick look at the interior real quick. So we swing around, look at the interior, folks. I mean, very, very nice on the inside. You got your bucket seats there flat bottom steering wheel which i always love in the performance supercar yes this is a supercar and i believe these had the steptronic transmissions i'm not sure what speed these is they might be a six. seven or six or six speed six. okay yep. and i'm sure out the box it just gets down the road but love the dash the gauge cluster there you don't really have a center mounted infotainment system they kind of keep everything in the middle of there to keep you driver focused which i I could appreciate, but it's very cool on the inside. I'm very sure that it rides very nice, as most coupes do. Very low to the ground. You got your R8 seal right here. It's very nice. And enough of this talking, man. I'm ready to drive this thing. So <laughs> let's take it out for a ride. All right, here we go. We're in the 2017 R8, folks, and this is a treat. David, you don't know how long I've been waiting to get my hands on one of these, well, man. Glad you get to try one out. Yeah, such a sweet car, man. These were I'm thinking great to make cars. you I'm thinking to make you a believer. Yeah, a lot of people had doubts. You know, there was a lot of negative outrage against these when they first came out. You know, people was like, "What is Audi doing?" You know, trying to come in the supercar market, but. I think, in my opinion, they made a very impressive appearance, impression on people. No, I agree 100%. But yeah, folks, I mean, be careful, this is quite a few bumps in here. It is a lowered vehicle. Yeah. Well, a lot lower than normal. Yeah. Hurricane, Huracan motor the back of these v10s nice sound man and with these this is naturally aspirated isn't it yeah. or okay yeah. that's what i thought i mean it, all around it's just a great car i mean of course you can modify them but yeah you'll, you'll feel it like you almost, almost don't, don't need, need to they're just, yeah, yeah i mean, I mean these, these are, are i'm sure, sure you know, they, 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 they came out with great reviews. A lot of people were very impressed with them, even some of the road tests and even like going to Nuremberg Rig and made some pretty, pretty good times out there. And I always love it naturally aspirated. Oh, yeah. You know? I mean, twin turbos, of course, is quicker, but it's, it's nothing like well, that naturally aspirated. My Z06, which we didn't get to film, unfortunately, Yeah. it was the most funnest naturally aspirated. Yeah. I just, I could control the car. Yeah. I yeah. mean, but with boost, it's just it's a whole different animal. That's how I feel with my uh, my Camaro. You know, I have the, the cam package on it, and I told Ron I wanted to eventually come back and do the, uh, the supercharger. But... I love the naturally aspirated oh, it's feel just, to it. Nothing like it. They just rev. Now I just got in the sport mode. I don't have it in manual, do I? It's just no, it's, it's just sport mode. Sport, okay. Yeah. yeah, sport is just basically it uh, run up to three thousand RPMs in every gear, and then uh -huh. shift, and then the baffles open on the exhaust. Mm. So you, that's why it's a little, a little louder. Yeah. Sounds great, man. For be a stock car. <laughs> yeah, I mean, sounds, yeah. It sounds it, it, pretty, it, pretty suited up. It's a little throaty. Yeah. And it 
gets out quite quite nicely folks I mean <laughs> we're in sport mode which I prefer to drive sport mode now when these came out originally you was able to get the six speed in these six speed manuals this and may the, be seven I'm not sure I don't, I don't ever pay attention to be honest yeah but I don't think they do I don't think they even allow the manual ship in oh, these no, no. yeah anymore. I don't think so either. I think yeah. they just did it for the, the couple of years when the car originally yeah. first came out yeah the MK1s yeah Rides very nicely, man. Yeah, I mean, for it being slammed to the ground, mm -hmm. it retained a pretty good bit of the suspension. Mm -hmm. uh, I didn't change the uh, factory struts. They're, they're still the same. Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, so it feels pretty good. Yeah. Now, have a lot of people tried you in this one? Not really, Not really. I mean. A lot of people probably just admire I me, mean, because you never see these, so I'm pretty yeah, sure you get a lot of I mean, every now and then you'll get someone in the GTR that wants to, only when I'm in the GTR, but I don't know why right. people are afraid of this. I'll tell them, right. All right. Let's play around a little bit, folks. Now, now, now does your wife even get in this thing? Does she, yeah, does she play around in it? She drives like a gangster. <laughs> she yeah. loves it. <laughs> you feel the power, folks. That sport mode, and it sounds amazing. <laughs> oh man, this thing sounds good. Man, it's nothing like a naturally aspirated motor, man. Uh, I just love that it turns 9,000 RPM. Yeah, that's why I was just about to ask you where the red line is. Yeah, that's, man. Yeah, this thing, man, this. <laughs> it just makes it you just smile, in front folks. Of, uh, in front of us. What'd you say? I don't know. I was watching it jump down to 9,000. Uh, cool. I'm sorry, come back. Uh, at least a little further down in front of us. I still didn't make out what he said. I think he said he wanted to lead, lead down a little bit farther. Okay. I mean, folks, <laughs> when you have a, a particular car like this, it's only made to be driven at a very high rate of speed. Now, what we just did, I mean, that was kind of potential jail time, so I'm not going to announce what we did, <laughs> but it, it felt amazing. That's, that's all I can pretty much say, man. I mean, this car is definitely everything I just imagined it would be. It's, it's smooth. Yeah. It's very smooth. No jerkiness or I mean, it's just... No, yeah, that, that dual clutch transmission. I mean, yeah, I forgot. Yeah, these do come with, equipped with the dual clutches. So, yeah, it's... It just, you don't feel any shifting. I love it. Yeah. They shift so hard to right. dual clutches. I mean, it's just, it's instinct. I mean, that was kind of a, a game changer with a lot of these, these supercars, you know, going to the dual clutches. But very comfortable, man. I love the steering wheel. This is the proper steering wheel, folks, the flat bottom. I mean, nice, you have your paddle shifters here, your engine start and stop, your drive select, would you have your different modes? We're currently in sport mode right now. You know, everything is right in front of you. Like I said, there's no infotainment system in the front. You just have your AC controls or whatnot. Everything is pretty much center locking to the car. Yeah, that's what I like, the console. It's a great car, man. Thank you. And then I would see occasionally uh, somebody would have a, a roaster, the, the convertible with the soft top. Don't really see many of them around. But I think with those like the, the Huracons, you can't really see the engine unless you pop the hatch. Right. And I love the, correct. the glass shots of these. Yeah, I like being able to see a nice clean motor right. through the window. But surprisingly. Pretty quiet behind. Yeah, it is. I mean, like you said, it's no, no drone at all. I mean, it's very, um, it's very, very subtle. Yes, overall, it's a fun, fun, fun car. I think. Yeah. How often you get to drive this one? I switch off 
often, maybe once every couple weeks. Yeah. Because usually I'll just drive my truck. Yeah. To work, and I'm sure you drive a truck with daily driver or whatever. Yeah, and then on weekends, I'll usually bring one of these out. Yeah. I would love to see what this will run in a, in a half mile. Just, I don't think I ever saw one of these out there at the one that goes fast. I don't think I have either. Um, but yeah, I mean, it's a small car, so it doesn't weigh yeah. much. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's only like 3,500 pounds yeah. or so. If that, yeah. Yeah. Now, we have taken this one out of town. Have you? Yeah. Now, how did it do? We drove it to Charleston. South Carolina and uh, did great. I mean, yeah. we loved it. I mean, there's not much room for suitcases. Yeah. So just a little, little duffel bag yeah, in, the, yeah. in the front, as they call it. Front. Yep. Yeah. It's very comfortable, though. Yeah. I mean, these seats are very comfortable. Yeah, I think it's a cozy little car. Yeah. And I do like the car carbon fiber accents. Yeah. I wonder if if uh, T Pain. This car recently belonged to T Pain, folks. As David said in the video, one if he had this car spec like this, so he just bought it. So the only thing, it, it may have been spec because he was the first owner, mm -hmm. and he only had it for four thousand miles because mm. that's when we bought it. Yeah, uh, but he did have all his preset preset stations. Yeah, which was funny because he had a lot of stuff that said T Pain. T -Pain. Oh. <laughs> hey. You gotta love and promote yourself first. Right. Mm -hmm. So roughly lower, this thing is probably what, two, drop down a couple of inches, maybe inch and a half probably. It's probably two and a half in the front. <laughs> it's it's pretty low here. Yeah. yeah. Well, I, I maxed out the coilovers. Oh I, I man! Got, I got it so as got far it. as it'll go. Yeah. Man. Still drives good though. Yeah, I mean, surprisingly. But it it, it just feels so compact. Yeah. I love this finish too with the Alcantara and the. What do you call it? Starlight? Starlight, yeah. <laughs> we got 200 fiber optics up there. <laughs> That's crazy. Something you see out of the Jetsons. Looks nice at night. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Just instant acceleration, folks. I mean, it's, it's just effortless. It really is. <laughs> That's all I can say. Just puts a smile on your face. Yeah, I mean, you, you're right. You can't beat a nationally aspirated car. They're just yeah. amazing to drive. Yeah, they, they are, man. I mean, they are. It's just, like I said, you just, a light tap. <laughs> this is a stock car, folks. I mean, I, I can't it's, it's stress that enough. I mean, a start stock car making this type of power. I mean, it feels like it's a, a like it's been modified. It, it really, it, does. it really does. It kind of sounds like yeah, it, too. it does. I mean, it sounds like it got. I mean, that's a stock exhaust. I mean, they really did a great job with this thing. I mean, it really did. I mean, this is, I'm, I'm very surprised because I heard they was talking about discontinuing these, which I was kind of shocked. They were going to stop production for like a year or two and yeah. redo the body style is what I was told yeah. when I purchased this one. Yeah. And these probably start off roughly around one, I think in the lower 120, somewhere around there. Depending on how you, you spec it out. Yeah, I think you can get this mod. If you were to buy this model right now, it, you'd probably have to pay about 150, 160. Yeah. Depending on mileage. It's well worth it though. Oh yeah, I absolutely. mean, this is it's still, I don't want to say less expensive because $160,000 is a lot of money. Sure. But it's still less expensive compared to what you're paying for a Ferrari. You right. Know, 
over 250 going up to almost a half million dollar car. But and those cars are fun. Don't get me wrong. No, absolutely, but, I agree. But yeah, this is kind of I want to say kind of a steal. You know, have one of these. <laughs> it's a race car. Literally. You know, Audi's, they, they pretty much dom dominated like the um, the Le Mans series and stuff. I mean, it yeah. was very proud. That's kind of what brought this car to life pretty much. They, they came out with the kind of a, a concept of one of those cars and they finally just brought it to life because those cars were so, so dominant over there. I've always loved the way they looked. I just, mm -hmm. I finally I was able to afford one. Yeah. But it is, it is just a rare car. Yeah. So is this the first one you looked at? You kind of just looked at some different no, ones? Or? There was one in Florida that we liked that was really nice that we kind of missed our shot. Mm -hmm. But uh, this one, because it had so low miles and it was the MK2 body style, mm -hmm. we, we couldn't turn it down. Yeah. And it holds that rev too. Oh, I love, I it. love that. Man, that's cool. It's got such quick acceleration. Damn, this is a fun car, man. I want one of these, man. I mean, the overall performance in this thing is very, it's very just, it's, it's definitely unique. Sat satisfying? Yeah, because you feel like you're in a tuna car, and this, this is a stock car. That's what's crazy about this. It's fully stock. Get in trouble in this, folks. You really can. But it does bring a smile to your face. It does. I, I trade that any day of the week. Yeah, that's a great car. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sure you're happy with it. How long, how long you had this one now? Uh, almost four years. Four years? Oh, yeah. Yeah, it's, it's, it's definitely a fun car, for sure. I mean, it's, this thing is very, very nice, man. I'm sure you this is a great purchase. I will probably oh, yeah. hang on to this one. Definitely don't regret it. Yeah. No, it's going to be one that stays in the stables. Yeah. How many miles you got on it now? I think it just turned. Let's see. 15? Yeah, 15. Yeah. Yeah. Man. So we haven't put a lot of miles in almost four years. I mean, yeah. Like I said, we bought it four times. I was about to say, yeah, you really, yeah. Yeah, it's got great mileage. And this body style really holds up. I mean, I know they wanted to do a refresh, but I mean, this this definitely is a it's a unique looking car. Just don't scroll. Yeah, he's just go, trying dude. along. Go, go, go. Potential jail time, folks. <laughs> God, oh, you just, you need this on an open road, man. Oh, yeah. It's just, I mean, well, there's not. Yeah, unfortunately, there's not enough. Yeah, there's nothing here. around here. Yeah, it's just, it just wants to go on and on and on. Yeah, it just doesn't stop. Man, nine thousand RPM tack. I mean, that's just that's impressive. I mean, it screams. I appreciate you letting us take this bad boy, sure. man. I think you've probably driven it harder than I've driven it. <laughs> wow. That's it for this edition, folks. I mean, as you can tell by the grin on my face, this is really a fun car. It's very, it's a superb car. I mean, I did not quite know what to expect driving this thing, but I, I really get all the hype behind it. I want to thank my good buddy David for absolutely allowing us to come out here and drive his baby, man. I mean, this was absolutely a blast. And uh, hey, man, 
All right, from Audi, I might just look into <laughs> look into one, man. I mean, this is this is really a fun car. I'm not just saying that. Naturally aspirated V10 Huracan motor can't beat it. Let me give a quick shout out to my new subscribers. Where we leave off, we got a uh, Dirk Anderson, Big Dirk, uh, Oz Double Seven, Carson Coleman, Chase Bierbach, MG, Endeavors DRB. Rabaku, Ketsi, Richard Wexine, and James Pulley. Thank you guys for so much newly subscribing. Thank you to my current subscribers. I really appreciate you tuning in every week. And uh, go to my website, jdubmotorsports.com, order you some merch, t-shirts. We're in the fall right now, so you can still order you a tumbler. You know, put your hot liquids in there. And um, support the show, I really appreciate it. Also want to thank my help, my son Juwan and his buddy Kyle. They're the best photographers and camera guys in the business. They always take amazing pictures and help me look good. And you can follow them on their Instagram accounts. Juwan is at Jeddock, that's J-E-D-D-O-C dot L-L-C on his Instagram. And Kyle is at No Outlet Photos. I'm at J-Dub Motorsports. You got an Instagram you want to shout out or plug or? No, <laughs> I'm, I'm, low, I'm low key. David's low key folks, so <laughs> we're gonna leave it at that. But that's it folks, uh, so hey, we're gonna continue driving this bad boy. It's such a beautiful day, man. You can't just, can't just go right home. You gotta keep driving it some more. So we'll catch you guys next time. Later.